Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable little French maid outfit. This is super simple and really fast to make. It actually only took me about maybe a week working on and off, so there's plenty of time if you want to make this for Halloween. Best of all, this whole thing only cost about $10. Definitely cheaper than buying a costume from the store, and you get to work on your crochet skills at the same time. So without further ado, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver yarn. For a size extra small, I used two full skeins of black and most of a skein of white, along with a 5mm hook. Altogether, this only cost about $10. The first piece we're going to make is the corset top, and we're going to start with the back panel. Make a chain equal to half of your bust measurement minus 1 inch. My bust is 30 inches, so half of that is 15, minus 1 is 14. So I'm making a chain that is 14 inches long, or 39 chains. You can also just hold it up to yourself and check that it's about the right length. If you want it to fit a little tighter or looser, feel free to subtract or add length as needed. Once you have your chain, we're going to chain an extra one to turn. This doesn't count as a stitch. Then, make half double crochets going all the way back up the row. At the end of the row, chain one for your turning chain, turn your work, then make another row of half double crochets starting with the very first stitch. We're going to repeat this until we have four rows total, and this makes up our first block. Here I've got my four rows. Now for our next row, we're going to do a decrease at the beginning and at the end. So we're going to chain one and turn. Then to do a decrease, yarn over, insert into the first stitch, and draw up a loop. Then yarn over, insert into the next stitch, and draw up a loop. Now you should have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five. So that's your decrease. Then we're just going to make regular half double crochets until we get to the last two stitches. Now we're at the end of the row and we're going to do another decrease. So again, we're going to yarn over and insert into the first stitch and draw up a loop. Then yarn over, insert into the next stitch, draw up a loop. You should have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five. So we just finished the first row of our block. Now we're going to finish this block by making three more rows of just regular half double crochets, no decreases. When you're done with that, I'll meet you back here to start the next block. I've just finished my second block, so I have eight rows total. And as you can see, it's starting to get more narrow towards this side, which is how we're going to get a nice corset type fit around the waist. We're going to continue working in blocks of four with each block getting more narrow. So to begin our next block, chain one and turn. Then for this first row of every block, we're going to do a decrease on the first two stitches and the last two stitches, just like we did before. For the remaining three rows of the block, we'll just do normal half double crochet rows with no decreases. Continue this pattern until your top is as long as you want it to be. I've just finished my back panel. I did a total of seven blocks or 28 rows. The wider side is going to be the bust and the narrower side is the waist. Now we're going to work on our front panels. This time we're going to chain our bust measurement divided by four. So my bust is 30 divided by four is seven and a half inches or 18 chains. Now we're going to chain an extra one for our turning chain, then make one block or four rows of half double crochets. Here I've got my first block done. Now for the next block, we're going to do a decrease on the first row just like we did for the back panel, but this time we're only going to decrease on one side. I like to do my decreases at the end of the row, so I'm going to make regular half double crochets until I get to the last two stitches. On my last two stitches, I'll do a decrease just like we did before.
Then we're going to finish this block with three rows of regular half double crochets. So we're going to continue this pattern until we have the same number of rows as the back panel. Remember that we're only decreasing for the first row of each block and only at the end of the row. So one side should be straight and the other side is slanted. After you've made two front panels, I'll meet you back here to seam it together. So here's my back panel and I'm going to put my front panels on top. It's a little hard to see because it's black, but I'm lining up the slanted side of the front panel with the slanted side of the back panel. Then we're going to seam along these two edges. To seam, insert your hook into the first stitch of both panels and pull your yarn through. Knot it twice to secure. Insert your hook again, pull the yarn through, and chain one. Make sure to work over your tails so we don't need to weave them in later. Insert into the next stitch of both panels and make a single crochet. Continue making single crochets all the way across. Repeat for the other side. Next, we're going to make our shoulder straps. From the seam, I'm counting six stitches towards the center of the front and marked it with a safety pin so you guys can see it better. Then on the next stitch after the safety pin, I'm going to attach my yarn to begin the strap. But you guys can put the strap anywhere you'd like. This is just where it fit well for me. Pull your yarn through and chain one. Then make half double crochets starting in that same stitch until the strap is as wide as you want. And remember that we're going to add a ruffle later so it'll be a little bit wider in the end. I'm making four half double crochets for mine. Then we'll chain one, turn, and keep making rows of half double crochets until the strap is as long as you'd like. I did a total of 28 rows. Then seam the end of the strap to the back panel, making sure all of your seams are on the same side. This is what our top looks like so far. Now we're going to add a border and holes for the lace. So we're going to start from the top front corner, work our way down, then back up and around the straps and back, then down the other side. So we're going to attach our yarn to one of the top corners of the front and chain one. Make a single crochet in the same stitch. Then chain two, skip the next two stitches, and make a single crochet in the next stitch. Then another single crochet in the stitch after that. Then chain two again, skip two, and make single crochets in the next two stitches. Repeat to the bottom, making sure that you have at least one single crochet at the end of the row. Here I'm at the end of the row, ending with two single crochets. Now we're going to chain one and turn. Now whenever you see a single crochet, we're going to put a single crochet on top. And when we get to the chain two spaces, we're going to put two single crochets into the chain space. Now we're back where we started and we're going to continue with the border. So to get around this corner, we're going to make a second single crochet in the last stitch of this row. Then make single crochets all along the next edge. Continue to the other side and make lace holes on the other panel and cut your yarn and tie off. We're also going to make a single crochet border around the armholes as well. Now we're going to add the ruffle detailing. Attach your white yarn to the front corner. Pull your yarn through and chain one. Now make four half double crochets in every stitch along the neckline up to three stitches of the shoulder strap.
At the end, slip stitch into the next stitch, then cut your yarn and tie off. So this is what it looks like, and we're going to repeat this for the other side. This is what it looks like when both sides are done. Now we're also going to add ruffles to the armholes. Attach your white yarn and chain two. Make four more double crochets in the same stitch. In the next stitch, make one double crochet. Then in the next stitch, make five double crochets. Keep alternating one double crochet, then five double crochets all the way around. When you reach the beginning, slip stitch into the first double crochet and tie off. So this is how it looks like and repeat for the other side. Then for the lace up front, I made a chain of 180 in white. This is how I lace it up. Next up, we're going to work on the skirt. First, we're going to make a chain for how thick you want your waistband to be, plus one for the turning chain. So I am chaining five plus one. Skip the first chain, then make single crochets across. At the end, chain one, turn, then make single crochets in the back loops only. So we're only going to go into this one loop on the back side. Then for the very last stitch, we're gonna go into both loops. This will help give us a cleaner edge. Repeat this row of back loop single crochets until your band can fit around your waist when fully stretched out. For mine, I made a total of 78 rows, which actually ended up being a little too big. I realized that when I added the body of the skirt, it made the waistband stretch out more. So I recommend making it just long enough to fit around your hips. And we're going to cinch it in more with the apron. So once you have your waistband, we're going to seam the ends together. I'm going to take my hook out of the loop and put it through both ends of the waistband. Then draw the loop through the other side of the waistband and chain one. Then I'm just going to make single crochets going across. At the end of this row, we're going to make a border of single crochets along this side of the waistband. Flip it so that the right side is facing you, or the seam is on the inside. Then make one single crochet in the first space, then two single crochets in the next space. And we're gonna repeat this going all the way around. One single crochet in one space, then two single crochets in the next. Then when you reach the beginning, slip stitch with the first single crochet. Now we're going to chain two, and this doesn't count as a stitch. Make a double crochet in the same stitch. Then make two double crochets in the next stitch. Repeat this pattern of one double crochet, then two double crochets going all the way around. And when you reach the end, slip stitch with the first double crochet to connect the round. For the rest of the skirt, we're just going to make one double crochet in every stitch, connecting the round with a slip stitch at the end. Continue making rounds until the skirt is the length that you want it to be. I did a total of 20 rounds, not including the two rounds where we did the increases. Now the last thing is adding a ruffled edge to the bottom of the skirt. Attach your white yarn, then chain two. Then make five double crochets in every stitch. At the end, slip stitch into the first double crochet. Then you can cut your yarn and tie off.
Next, we're going to make this really cute little apron, and it actually has a pocket, which is super convenient. So here, I've got a simple rectangle of half double crochets, just like we did for the corset top. This is 34 stitches across and 20 rows wide, but you can make this whatever size you want. If you want yours to be a pocket like mine, you'll need two of these panels. If you want yours to just be decorative, you can just make one panel. Here I've got my two panels, and I'm going to seam them together along these three sides and make a border at the same time. If you just have one panel, you can follow the same exact directions. You'll just be going into one panel instead of seaming two together. So I'm lining up my sides with the foundation chain because I want that to be the open side. Then I'll attach my yarn at the corner, chain one, then make single crochets along the other three sides. When I reach a corner, I'm going to make two single crochets to help keep the shape. After you've finished the three sides, we're going to make a chain for the apron strap. I'm chaining 70, or about 19 inches. At the end of the chain, chain an extra one for your turning chain, then make single crochets all the way back. So here, I'm making my last single crochet. Now we're going to work shells into this border. So turn your work, make one single crochet in the first stitch, skip the next stitch, then make five double crochets into the next stitch. Then we're going to skip a stitch, make one single crochet in the next stitch, skip a stitch, then make five double crochets into the next stitch. So you're going to repeat this going all the way around. Then on the other side, make another chain of single crochets for the other apron strap. The very last thing we're going to make is a ruffled headband. This is going to start the same way as the skirt waistband, but we're going to make this a little bit thinner. So we're going to chain three, plus one for the turning chain, and make single crochets across. Then make back loop single crochets until the band fits around your head when stretched. Remember to go into both loops for the last stitch of every row. I made a total of 60 rows. Now we're going to make the ruffled edge. So chain one, then on the long side, make four half double crochets in every space to the end of the row. Pumpkin here is going to help us finish the headband. So find your two ends and we're gonna seam them together. From your last ruffle, slip stitch into the base of the headband then seam the ends together. We're going to pull the yarn through both sides and chain one. Then make a single crochet in each of the three stitches. If you want, you can make a ruffled edge on the other side too, but I like how it looks with the ruffles on just one side. So once you're done, cut off your yarn and tie off, and the entire outfit is complete! Thanks so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time!